Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session, we will learn how to analyze the suitability of a location manually. In this session, we will analyze the suitability on ArcMap through Model Builder. The tools that are used for suitability analysis is Euclidean Distance, Slope, Reclassify and Weighted Overlay. In this session, we use these tools through Model Builder. So let's begin with the project. We solve the same problem as like the previous session and our problem is find a suitable location for being established a primary school considering given criteria through model builder and reclassify all factors in three and our criteria are existing school, road and elevation. So let's start. At first create a geo database for saving all your outputs. So go to our catalog, then choose a specific folder. So here I create a new file geodatabase and named it suitability analysis. Previously I said that we analyze the suitability through model builder for saving the model builder we create a new toolbox the model builder only saved in a toolbox so i named it model and in model we create a new model and here is our model if we save the model then it is saved to the model toolbox now we want to add the data which are mentioned in the problem and the data are elevation roads and school and now I will show you how to change the model properties go to model and then go to model properties and here in workspace I want to change the current workspace so click current workspace then go to values and I here the workspace is default geo database and now I change it to our created geo database so now press ok then click scratch work space the file which we don't need it is unnecessary to save it in your computer and for this we go to scratch workspace then create a scratch new file geodatabase and in scratch geodatabase we save the data that we not need so press ok then I will show another thing raster analysis we analyze the raster and here is a cell size you have to put a you have to put same cell size for overlaying every criteria if you define cell size by clicking here you don't need to put the cell size every time manually so I put a cell size here same as specified below and I put the cell size 50 then press ok now press ok now we do the same procedure through model builder as like previous tutorial so go for search and 
search for the tool Euclidean distance. And here the Euclidean distance special analyst tool. And in this case, we measure the Euclidean, Euclidean distance of two factors. One is school and other is road. So get another two set Euclidean distance. And we need to calculate the slope from elevation. So search for slope. and drag the tool to your model builder then brought the model and click euclidean distance and at first we calculate the euclidean distance of school and here you see that we don't need to change the output raster location every time it already selected the scratch gdb folder now you need to only rename the output raster i rename it as school then i don't put any maximum distance and see that uh, in raster analysis we change the output cell size 50 so it is automatically 50 uh, now press ok after that press another euclidean distance and choose the input raster as road and here only change the name road other things will be okay then click on slope and select elevation and change the output name slope then press ok after that if you click auto layout then it is lay layout automatically then you need to run the model to reclassify it after you have successfully run the model then you see the shadow now we reclassify the output for this search for reclassify tool classify then drag it to model we need three reclassify tool so we need three reclassify tool Then place it in suitable location. Then we reclassify slope, road, and school into three classes. For this, connect the slope to reclassify, choose input raster, and click on reclassify. Then all are selected now you just change the classes into three and you can also change the break values but in this case i don't change the break values. so press ok then you see that the in scratch gdb is automatically saved so press ok then again reclassify road you can connect through it or click on reclassify and choose the road and classify it into three change the break through then press ok then in this way you reclassify again the school then again press auto layout i slightly zoom out this layout after that you know that 
we need weighted overlay tool for suitability analysis so search for weighted overlay then press ok and drag the tool here and sorry press escape and select now connect each three class to weighted overlay weighted overlay table press then reclass load weighted overlay then reclass is equal to weighted overlay now click on weighted overlay as like previous tutorial and go to questions and you see that the existing school influence is 55% road 25% and elevation 20% so press set equal influence put the slope influence 20 and road influence 25 and school influence 55 and now here you see two things one is value and other is scale value and in value field one means low slope land two means medium slope land and three means high slope land and here I consider the medium slope land is most suitable for primary school so put the scale value as on then high class land then low land now reclass road here you know that the less distance from road is higher suitability of primary school establishment so the here less distance the scale value is one is best suit, suited location and two medium suited location and three less suitable location now the existing school we know that the higher distance from existing school is more suitable for new school establishment here the less distance medium distance and higher distance from existing school and the higher distance is most suitable so press the value 1 then medium distance first one is less suitable so put the value 3 now press ok after that save the model again then run the model if you do not make any wrong in the model then the model run successfully then close the model here in this case i only need this one weighted ready class as output so click on it and press add to display Here you see the weighted overlay output and the red color signifies the high suitable area for primary school establishment. But you see that the area is not like the elevation. Following previous tutorial, you have to change the processing extent also. To define processing extent, go to model then model properties then check processing extent then values and choose the processing extent as same to layer elevation then you get your desired output as like the area of elevation thank you everyone